Tesla is incredibly popular on TikTok, but there are still so many Tesla related TikToks out there that are completely fake. So in this video, once again, we're going to be going over which Tesla related TikToks are real and which Tesla related TikToks are fake. Sponsored by Squarespace. Let's get into the first TikTok. Did you know you can drive a Tesla with a PlayStation 5 controller? Once you're in, just go up here to Bluetooth. Click the button on the PlayStation controller. You'll see it blinking. Come out here, set the controller right there to pair. Once it's paired, it'll stop blinking. And just come out of the car, shut the door with the key. Stand back here, and when you click this right here, the car's gonna go forward. All right, ready? In three, two, one, go. Look at that, pretty neat, huh? So unbelievably, you can actually control a Tesla with a game's controller. However, you can only play games with it. Stuff like Beach Buggy Racing 2 and whatever. You cannot move the actual car with a controller. That fella is talking out of his ass. Let's move on to the next one. Tesla accessory reviews, part one, the Tesla key ring. I was super excited to get the key ring, but after I set it up, I realized it does not work when it's on my hand. No matter how hard I've tried and looked at guides, it does not work. The only way that I found that it works is to literally take it off my finger and then put it to the door and then it works. So it's not really that useful if I'm just gonna have to take it off my finger. So I rate it a three out of 10. So I hadn't actually heard of this before, but a Tesla ring that goes around your finger is a real thing that you can purchase on Amazon for about 129 pounds. And just like a Tesla card, you put it here and it locks and unlocks your vehicle. Pretty epic. And what's quite interesting, although I've not tested the ring myself, when I looked at the Amazon reviews, 63% of the reviews were five star. So it seems like most people that buy the ring actually had a better user experience than that TikToker. So what do you think? Do you want us to buy the ring and test it for ourselves? Let me know. So this one went all over Twitter and people are going mental talking about how unsafe autopilot is. But there is actually an extended version of this clip that gives a little bit more of an explanation. Now it might just be me, but I think it's really cool and like kind of funny that the Tesla screen reacted in this way. And I'm sure that if they were in autopilot, the car would not suddenly come to a stop on the motorway. We have tested with fake traffic lights ourselves. And for the most part, the car kind of just sails past them. But either way, if you are on a motorway, I wouldn't be whacking autopilot on there. But it's still cool and funny to see the Tesla react like that. All right, guys, so apparently my house is haunted because my Tesla is sensing a person there. But when I look up, there's no person. So as weird as this is, it does kind of happen from time to time. For example, in our last video last week, randomly, it said there was a car in front of us, even though there was no car in front of us. So I think last week, the long grass in front of the car kind of confused it. But with that TikTok in particular, potentially he had an object or he had a little fella sat in front of the screen like this, slightly out of frame. So we're actually going to test that with our car right now. Well, um, we just went to test it and for some reason, there was a fella on the screen. Oh, he's gone. Oh, now there's a car, but there's no car there. What's going on? Why is there a car? Right, Becky, you film what happens. I'm going to walk around. What's going on? You, it's you. Is that two? No, just you now. Just me. <laughs> and now you're still there, even though- Now there's still a person there. What's going on? Maybe Teslas are haunted after all. How spooky. Have you experienced this? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, we're going to do some more TikToks, but first, Let's hear from today's sponsor. You will not believe who's sponsoring this video. That's right, it's Squarespace. Who saw that coming? Squarespace is the perfect platform for building a website regardless of your needs. Basically, right, they've just got everything that you need, starting with hundreds of beautiful professional looking templates. You can customize every aspect of them. They've got things to set up online stores, online portfolios, take a look at detailed analytics, set up email campaigns. They've got it all. Squarespace are fantastic. So if you are interested in creating your own website, head to squarespace.com slash darkmassywelsh and if you use code Jack Massey Welsh, you can get an extra 10% off your first purchase of a domain name. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring yet another video. Really appreciate it. Anyway, let's just jump straight into the next TikTok. So this is actually kind of a thing. There is a mini Tesla toy car thing that can act as a key and it can do cool things like if you click on the boot, your actual boot will start opening. And as shown in that video, it also has a summon feature if you are in specific countries such as the US so that you can hold this down and your car will start driving. But what's weird about that TikTok is he's like stroking it like some kind of weirdo. What are you stroking it for? That's not what you do. He, he's faked that. He's just got someone to sit in the car and reverse. In actual reality, you just hold it down 
and then that's what makes the car summon slowly towards you. You don't stroke it like this. What, what are you stroking it for? What's that about? I'm gonna show you how to drive your Tesla with a PlayStation 3 controller. No, stop, stop. I'm sick of hearing it. You cannot move your Tesla with a controller. There are so many TikToks claiming that you could do that. You can't. It's not a thing. Next TikTok. Just going to my car after being at the office all day. Oh. The car knows I'm here. Oh, oh, the car's gonna open the door for me. Cool. Let me just, thank you, sir. So incredibly, this is actually a thing. The Tesla's doors will open by themselves if you have your key in your pocket. All you have to do is walk towards, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Um, it, it's only a thing in Model X's. For people with Model 3's, Model S's, Model Y's, you actually have to open the door manually like some kind of peasant. But it is a thing if you have a Model X. Today, I got in my Tesla, and when I got inside and drove it around, it felt kind of slow. So I decided to buy the $2,000 acceleration boost. Tesla makes it too easy. Within 30 seconds of using Apple Pay, my car is already restarting and getting faster. So for only $2,000, I go 0.6 seconds faster. Amazingly, the acceleration boost upgrade is also a real thing. We did it a few months ago. We did a whole video about it. So we purchased a 1,500 pound upgrade through our Tesla app, and it meant the Tesla's acceleration was about 10% faster. I think it'd be rude not to do a quick little 0 to 60 test, wouldn't it, Becky? Yeah. Let's go do that right now. Woo. <laughs> All right, 0 to 60, here we go. Oh, that's 60, that's 60. So yes, we made the car even faster just by a quick 10 minute software update, which is very, very weird and also pretty cool. And also kind of annoying that it's already got the technology built in. But anyway, let's move on. Do it, go, do it, do it. I don't know how. Just try. <laughs> All right, open this. Let's see if you know how to open it. No, no. <laughs> no, you're using two hands. Use All right, I want to see you open the door. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta grab it by your thumb. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, try it out. <laughs> oh, I thought, there you go. I you got, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is just a fun little final one. The Tesla doors are a bit weird if you're not used to them, and I have had lots of people that have reacted the same way. But the way you do it is you're meant to whack your thumb here and push in, and then that pushes the other side out so that you can pull it. It's really, really easy once you know how to do it. No problem at all. All right, there we go. That's nine Tesla TikToks. We have confirmed which are real and which are fake. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, leave a like and click that subscribe button as well because we do upload every Saturday over on this Jack Massey Wells channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all later.